Rita Dove has stood with presidents and legends. Her poems have won awards and made history. And as she has found her voice, she has brought us along on the journey. Rita Dove was born in Akron, Ohio in 1952 to Ray Dove, the first black research chemist in the tire industry, and his wife, Elvira Horde, who passed on a passion for Shakespeare and a reverence for the written word. I read everything I could get my hand on. I read the backs of cereal boxes. I had to have something to read all the time. And sometimes it was agony to be at the dinner table. We would say, don't bring a book to the table. This was one of the things we used to say in our family, because everyone would be dragging a book along. Encouraged by her teachers in public school to pursue her writing, Dove graduated Bookto High School in 1970 and was invited to the White House as a presidential scholar before arriving at Miami University in Oxford, Ohio as a National Achievement Scholar. In 1973, she would graduate summa cum laude with a degree in English. After two semesters as a Fulbright Scholar in Germany, she joined the University of Iowa Writers' Workshop, where she earned her Master of Fine Arts degree in 1977. During this time at Iowa, she met her husband, German writer Fred Wiebaum. She began her teaching career at Arizona State University in 1981. After her writing appeared in magazines and anthologies, Dove's career began in earnest, resulting in a remarkable canon of poetry collections, short stories, a novel, and other works. Pulitzer Prize in Poetry for a distinguished volume of verse by an American author is awarded to Rita Dove for Thomas and Beulah. Thomas and Beulah, a collection of interrelated poems loosely based on her grandparents' life in Akron, earned her the 1987 Pulitzer Prize, making her the second African-American poet to receive the prestigious award. And in that moment, I stood there and I felt the world's lights come on. She joined the faculty of the University of Virginia in Charlottesville, where, since 1993, she has held the chair of Commonwealth Professor of English. In 1993, Rita Dove was appointed Poet Laureate of the United States and consultant in poetry to the Library of Congress, making her the youngest person and the first African American to receive this highest official honor in American poetry. She held the position for two years. She is considered one of our finest poets, and she truly is a life force of poetry. President Bill Clinton presented her with the 1996 Charles Frankel Prize and the National Humanities Medal, the U.S. government's highest honor for writers and scholars. In 1999, she was reappointed special consultant in poetry for the Library of Congress's bicentennial year. Uh, as Rita Dove says, if poetry doesn't affect you on some level that cannot be explained in words, then the poem hasn't done its job also known as, it don't mean a thing, if <laughs> it ain't got that swing. President Obama would present Dove with the National Medal of Arts in 2011, making her the first person to receive all three of the nation's highest arts and humanities distinctions. Away from the nation's gaze, Rita Dove and her husband have raised their daughter, Aviva Dove Viban, and now have a granddaughter. The two are avid ballroom dancers and have participated in a number of showcase performances. A classically trained musician, she sings and plays the cello and viola da gamba. Dove has said that she felt compelled to choose between music and poetry for her career. Fortunately, for all of us, she continues to make music of the voice and the life that began at home in Akron. <laughs>